Today we're staying somewhere that we really didn't think we'd be staying at until we got to Japan. However, when we were doing our research, we found out we have one of these special hotels right here in Seoul. So we're spending one night here at the Myeongdong Capsule Hotel. Is that us? Yep. I'm on 1C near 3G. All right. Let's go, I guess. It's not locked yet. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, really? All right. See you in 10 minutes. All right. In addition to being our first time at a capsule hotel, we both have to stay on different floors and we haven't been apart since we left the US about five months ago. So it'll be an interesting night. Before we give you guys a tour, we're gonna go check out some of the top sites in the area. Because this capsule hotel is located in Myeongdong, it's a pretty popular area and it's super central to a lot of the top sites here in Seoul. Some of them being the Namdaemun Market and Seoul Tower, Gyeongbokgyeong Palace. And our first stop is what's standing right behind me. It's the Cheonggyokgung Palace. I've actually never been here before, so it's gonna be Tyler and I's first time checking it out. And it's also nearby the Gyeongbokgyeong Palace, which is a very famous, much busier palace that's just a few blocks down the road. We're gonna go check it out and see how it is. Have a nice day. Thank you. <laughs> Card, please. Have a nice Come day. Come down All right, we're in. That was very, very easy. You can just pay with credit card right at the entrance, and it's 3,000 won per person. So the Changgyeonggung Palace was actually built in 1405. Unfortunately, most of the buildings were destroyed by fire when the Japanese invaded. So the buildings that are here today have been moved from Gyeongbokgyeong and they were dismantled and brought here. It'll be really cool for Tyler. This is his first palace since we've been in Korea. I'm excited to see an actual Korean palace. <laughs> Although the building here and the palace itself are beautiful, we didn't spend too much time here. We ended up going pretty quick because we want to go get dinner. And we have a few other stops to show you guys that are near the capsule hotel. I highly recommend coming to this one if you're looking to get some photos with no one in them or just enjoy a place that's really nice and quiet. Gyeongbokgyeong is a little bit more grander, but it's way busier. So keep those two things in mind and uh, we're gonna go bring you to our next stop. Before we go on over to Iwa Mural Village, I wanted to show you guys one more spot that's pretty close to the Capsule Hotel, which is the Bukchon Traditional Village. Something to note when you're coming to visit the Bukchon Hanok Village is that people actually live here, and most people that live here are a little older. So just like the Iwa Mural Village, make sure to be respectful, don't be too loud, and be respectful of the people who live here. The Hano Village was surprisingly really quiet compared to what we thought it was going to be and the buildings were truly beautiful. They were. They were really kept up well. Definitely recommend coming early. And now we're going to head off to Iwa Mural Village. make our way to the Iwa Mural Village here in Seoul, I wanted to mention that there's a ton of cute cafes in this area, from ones you've never even heard of before to the super popular ones like the Thong Cafe, which is the Poop Cafe, and the Onion Cafe, which is a traditional seating cafe. The Iwa Mural Village was originally started in 2006 because this area was not doing so well. It was kind of considered the slum area of Seoul. And so in 2006, they brought like 70 plus artists to come decorate and paint the village. Since then, it's kind of blown up, but the only issue is they never really asked the residents here if they were okay with it. Some people are a little mad at the whole. Yeah, some people that live here aren't super happy with the whole idea. If you come, just make sure to be super respectful of the elders who live here and enjoy. Just enjoy it. So 
So although the Elon mural village was pretty cool and really, really cute, because the murals were done in 2006, or at least most of them were, a lot of them are gone now or have been drawn over or have just started like crumbling. Yeah, the hike is pretty steep. Pro tip, come at around sunset because it's a beautiful place to watch the sunset. True, very true. And we've got one more stop before we head back to the capsule hotel to give you guys a tour. We did end up making a quick stop here at Tongbe Moon Design Plaza. Unfortunately, it's closed, so I can't show Tyler around inside, but it's a pretty techie place with some cool exhibitions and stuff inside. Now we're gonna go back and finally give you guys a tour of our capsule hotel. They're not the greatest. The little rock salad. It's officially time for our capsule hotel tour. I will say getting here is a little sketchy. It's kind of down like this alleyway where there's like a bunch of warehouse shipping stuff. So a little sketchy. <laughs> if your map says it's there. It's here, I promise. Yep. So once you come in, the first floor is the check-in area and there's actually capsules on this floor, which is why I'm whispering. This is actually Tyler's floor also, so we're gonna say goodbye to him here and I'm gonna continue the tour for you guys. Bye. Good night, we'll see you in the morning. Night. I'm gonna show you guys the bathroom and shower area, but I haven't been there yet. So we're gonna head down to the basement and go check it out. Showers here are co-ed. Looks like shampoo and conditioner in there and i'm actually not sure where the bathrooms are yet we'll have to go find those uh but five showers for everyone nice little vanity area um let's go see if we can find the bathrooms it's very uh very small for me after rereading the check-in sheet we got i found out the bathroom is actually on the floor you're staying in so they said out exit door into the bathroom All right, guys, I'm gonna be honest. The bathroom and showers could definitely use some work. They're pretty dirty and there's water all over. Uh, the capsules look nice though, so I'm gonna go get ready for bed and kind of just chill out for the night. It is just long enough for me, so if you're much bigger than six foot two, probably won't fit in here. All right, so when you get up to third floor, it's pretty, it's not as nice as the pictures online looked. The capsule itself isn't bad, but when you walk around, you can kind of hear everyone, which is why I'm whispering. And the bathroom itself is actually really kind of creepy. <laughs> but I want to show you guys around the capsule because it's actually pretty nice. I have a button here for the fan. And for the lights. And I also have a tablet here, which I haven't played around with yet, but definitely going to check that out. Turns out the tablet isn't anything special, just information. I do have a table here also, but I don't really know how to open it. <laughs> I got the table out, but it doesn't stay up. And it's just long enough, um, so we'll see how it goes. Over here I also have an outlet, and then I do have two hooks with a hanger where I can put some of my clothes. Um, and then on the outside of all the capsules there are locked lockers for you to put any suitcases or backpacks or anything you might have so yeah i'm just gonna get going now and settle in for the night if i had to guess at what tyler's doing right now he's probably making a friend and playing his game on his phone so i just got in my capsule and we're gonna watch a movie before we go to bed we'll see how i sleep tonight Not good. Someone was snoring and then someone was coughing all night and I didn't fit very good in there. 
How do you sleep? I sleep better than you. Would you do a capsule hotel again? Not if we really did need to. <laughs> Not my favorite. Did you? Um, no, it was a little scary. Yeah. That one was. But either way, it was a really fun adventure. I'm glad we did it. Me even too. though we didn't sleep that good. Anyways, we always appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching that adventure, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Chungkyong-gung. I don't know. It's the Chungkyong-gung Palace. Hey, babe. Can't open the Did you get that? What do I do? Oh, it's off. It's not off yet. Oh. Make sure to. Why can't I get that right today? I'm huh? too tired. I know.